Hey guys, it's Will here. Welcome back to another Bat Rep. Um, tonight I've got my third game in the Iron Hammer League, so we're going 2,000 points Eternal War missions again. And uh, my opponent tonight is someone I've not played before. Uh, this is Javid, and he's bringing his Sisters of Battle and Mechanicum Force. Um, last week he had a Knight Porphyr on in the game he played, and uh, yeah, I'm rather relieved not to see that going up against me tonight. So, what have we got? So we've got the Biltan Eldar, and it's exactly the same list as last time out. So uh, I've got Battalion with two small Dire Revenger units, one large Dire Revenger unit, Farseer, War, uh, Spirit Seer, Wraith Guard, Fire Dragons. Then we've got the eight Shining Spears and six Wind Riders with Shuriken Cannons. And then we've got a um, Spearhead Detachment, so that's the two units of five Dark Reapers. One with the Reaper Launcher Exarch, one with the Tempest Launcher Exarch. Falcon with the Bright Lance and the Spirit Stones. Uh, not Spirit Stones, sorry, Crystal Targeting Matrix. And then a Warlock. For my Warlock, I'm going with um, Conceal Reveal as his powers. Spirit Seer has got Jinx Protect. And the Far Seer has got Doom and Fortune. He's also my Warlord with Natural Leader as his Warlord trait. And um, his relic is going to be the Spirit Stone of Anathlan. So uh, yeah, pretty typical Eldar list for me these days. But that's 2,000 points of the Biltan Eldar. Okay, so here's Javid's 2,000 points of Mixed Mechanicum and Sisters. For the Mechanicum, he's going Mars because he's got Belisarius Crawl leading it. Um, and then a little Tech Priest to uh, fill out the Battalion HQ requirements there. For his troops, three units of Skitari Rangers, one of eight, one of nine, and one of ten. And the one with ten has the three transonic arquebuses on there. Then we've got the uh, the Castellan robots, four of them with uh, full phosphor, phosphor blasters, so all the DACA there. It's a very scary unit. Um, played these twice against these twice before. Thankfully, one time I managed to delete them all before the game got before they got to shoot. But uh, yeah, that was. Uh, that was a relief because I, I know what these things can do. They are scary. And we've got the, um, oh, what were they called again? Dragoons. Dragoons. So they've got the, uh, the big tasers. Um, pretty nasty, but lack of range shooting. So hopefully maybe deal with them before they get to combat. But we shall see. By the way, lovely basing on there. Very nice looking army. Um, then for his uh, sisters, we've got the Order of the Bloody Rose. So they get plus one strength if they're charged charge or make a heroic intervention yeah, so attack, and plus one attack as well so they've they've got some serious fighting going on there it's got saint celestine leading that and this is going to be a outrider detachment so then we've got one squad of 10 seraphim and two squads of 10 dominions all with the storm bolters in there and both dominion squads are going to be riding in repressors and looks like they've got heavy flamers storm bolters and uh, these have six fire points each so yeah. The Dominions aren't even going to have to get out to uh, bring the DACA there. So uh, I fear my infantry aren't going to live long against this. There's a lot of anti-infantry fire going on. But uh, we shall see. We still need to roll for mission, but it's going to be eternal war. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a minute for deployment. Alrighty then. So we've got Vanguard deployment tonight. So we're facing off on the quarters. And the mission is narrow the search. So just one objective in the centre there. And uh, that is scored at 18 inches on the first turn, 15 inches going down by three every turn. And it's just worth one point. So potentially a low scoring game where something like, you know, um, Warlord or Linebreaker could make the difference. Uh, I got to deploy first and I've tried to stay well back just in case I get seized on here. So uh, Reapers um, and the... Uh, smaller Avenger squads in the transports, other Reaper squad sheltering behind, uh, Avenger squad behind there, another Reapers in there, Falcon up the middle with the Fire Dragons and the Farseer, and the Shining Spears out of here trying to stay out of line of sight and get ready to advance up the table behind this good cover here. Um, in reserves, just got my Wraith Guard um, hiding out in the Webway portal. So facing off, the Dominions are up the centre there in their transports, turned to the side to uh, get as far forward as they can, with the Castellan robots behind, and then spread out behind them we've got the three units of Skitari Rangers, um, obviously trying to uh, fill out his deployment zone, cut down deep strike opportunities, he's got Crawl backing them up, 
and then over this side the um, it's got Saint Celestine and I forgot what they're called again dragoons oh, yeah dragoons and he's got his um, seraphims in reserve the uh, flying sisters so looking like it could be an interesting game we both have armies that don't really want to get forward but are both going to have to put a lot forward to grab this one objective at the moment the Eldar are going first but I think my opponent would like to seize tonight so uh, let's roll for that nope. nope it's a one so here we go with the Eldar turn one okay so before the turn started um, both of the repress uh, repressors the Sisters of Battle Transports had a scout move to make so they both moved um, forward up into the middle of the board here carrying their Dominion squads and contesting that objective so uh, I couldn't let that stand um, so obviously uh, pushed up the jet bike uh, the Shining Spears to about there disembarked both Reaper squads here and here but kept my Avengers in the transports waiting for the right moment to bring them out uh, Psychers obviously got out here as well and the jet bikes and tanks moved up um, Psychic phase, the Farseer managed to put uh, Fortune onto these jet bikes. Uh, I had a plan for keeping the spears safe so didn't give them the defensive buffs this turn. Uh, but as you'll see that didn't quite go to plan. He failed to cast Doom on the Repressor but as you can see from the lack of Repressor that didn't make too much difference in the long run. And I also put Conceal onto these guys from one of my Warlocks. But my Jinx Protect guy failed his test despite a, um, a reroll. Actually, no, didn't, uh, no, I don't think I used the reroll in the end of those, but um, yeah, shooting phase, uh, focused mainly on the repressors because these robots were currently sitting on a one plus save in their defense protocol and with their canticles for this turn. So uh, yeah, my reapers weren't going to be too much of a threat to them. The falcon did do a couple of wounds to one, actually had a pretty poor turn of shooting with the falcon, but uh, yeah, I did clear out one of the repressors. Um, and one of the Dominion squads, the squad that got out of it in the shooting phase and then the Reapers, uh, sorry, the Shining Spears charged into the, um, the other Repressor, the one that was here my intention was to surround it but keep them out of comp the majority of the unit actually out of fight range um, and just scratch it and uh, then surround it so it couldn't back out of combat keeping me safe next turn problem was i didn't do my movement quite right and got a couple of guys a little bit too close so everyone a few more guys had to fight than i intended and we blew it up so nice to get that out of the way um, and the sister squad popped out the back um, i only took one mortal wound in the ensuing explosion and i have been able to tie up that squad um, who's fighting back didn't do anything because they, they punch like girls sorry if that sounds sexist but uh, <laughs> they're not starties are they um, they're standard humans so no stronger than guardsmen uh, so yeah although my uh, shining spears are nicely tying them up now they're going to back out and then I'm going to eat all the daca from these robots next turn and I don't even get my invun here because uh, this objective has a 12 inch aura of you can't take invun saves so not the perfect start but a good start at least all oh, right so mechanic in turn two and they did not waste any time so he's pushed up both of his skatari ranger units so they are just within 18 of the objective um, and obviously he stepped these sisters back moved celestine and her gemini forward and used the command point to switch the protocols on his castellan robots so they're now getting 18 shots apiece at strength 6 minus 2 AP re-rolling uh, because of call uh, it's, yeah it's a nasty nasty combo and he moved his dragoons down the flank here shooting phase um, he initially focused a lot on the shining spears and despite me not playing too much in the way of shenanigans with them um, he did actually manage to he didn't manage to kill them all initially there were about four still standing after all of his little guys had shot you know the um, uh, Skitari Rangers and the Sisters and Celestine um, so then he had to split his fire from his Castellan robots so he put one into the Shining Spears just one killed four of them oh, well killed three of them and left the Exarch on a single wound one of them shot for the, um, shiny, uh, the jet bikes and that had uh, a little bit less luck uh, mainly thanks to Fortune and Conceal Reveal uh, only killed one and did a single wound to another and then the third two uh, so the third and fourth went for my dire revengers 
and despite me using lightning fast reactions to try and keep them alive because uh, you know model count is really going to count with grabbing that objective uh, it wasn't enough and they got absolutely butchered um, so end of my turn or oh, assault phase next so Celestine and the Gemini tried to charge the Shining Spear Exarch but failed but the Dragoons were able to charge the Wave Serpent and put 12 wounds on it if that were any other transport that would have blown but wave serpents have that lucky 13 so uh, the wave serpent is just about standing but i've got dragoons up in my face i've lost a lot those robots are an absolute pain and i have a leadership test to make for this guy so normally he would be leadership nine i think um so let me just uh, roll this and see three so i think he flees but i just want to check Oh no, that's going to be too much. Whatever it is, even if it's leadership 10, he's going to run away. So yeah, he's gone. So uh, yeah, tough start. Um, Points-wise, um, thanks to just the sheer numbers on these Ranger and Sisters units, um, uh, the Admech combined with the Sisters score the point. So uh, with us both getting first strike, it's 2-1 to the Mechanicum as we go into the second Eldar turn. So a tough second turn for the Eldar, I uh, really wanted to deal with both these Dragoons and the Castellan Robots and as you can see it didn't quite go to plan. So I pushed up my Reapers back out of cover to try and get some good line of sight on those Castellans and also uh, got my Wraith Guards deployed down here via Deep Strike 9 inches out from the Dragoons. Moved the Falcon and the Wave Serpent out of combat with the Dragoons to get some shooting in jet bikes went forward and these guys disembarked from the wave serpent to have a shot at a few of the rangers and they did kill a few i think there's uh four left there so taking three casualties six there sorry yeah six so he's taking three casualties yeah um but uh, yeah the psychic phase things started to go wrong so the farseer tried to put doom on the dragoons and then despite farseer rerolls you know for runes of the farseer he still failed to doom them that's two turns in a row he's failed to cast doom but he did manage to put fortune on the wraith guard who also got conceal but my attempt to cast protect on the um falcon didn't go off so yeah not not great things could have been better in the psychic phase but i did put um uh, natural leader onto the Dark Reapers who killed one of the robots. Would have been two but he popped his um, stratagem that allows him to change uh, his canticles giving his whole army counters in cover which saved his butt there. He would have lost more robots otherwise. Uh, the Falcon tried to shoot them but having moved uh, decided to roll threes for everything so missed with all its ranged weapons and that sort of luck continued. Four of these guys managed to hit so three of these guys managed to hit the Dragoons despite their natural minus one to hit and then I proceeded to roll three twos. Uh, if I've got Doom off on there those Dragoons would not be there but as it was it took the rest of the fire from the Dark Reapers, both Wave Serpents and I killed one. Popped off all my Serpent Shields, fired all the Daka I could find and I killed one. So a little bit disappointing there I only killed one dragoon and one robot, but then the jet bikes did, um, you know, do some work, killing six out of the seven surviving sisters. So uh, at least there's only one there from that Dominion squad, and there's a good chance she might leg it. Except Celestine may prevent that. I know no, she's out. Apparently there is no hope for her. So at least I got that going for me. And we are swarming this objective, but he's got so many rangers that once he's killed a few of my units, I feel that he'll probably be scoring that again this turn. Uh, ignore the fire dragon there, he is just in that transport. And I've still got a unit in there, but um, yeah, it's only six uh, Dire Avengers. So tough turn, and I'm expecting a swift and painful retribution. So David started his second turn by bringing down the um, uh, Celest um, Seraphim right behind my Dark Reapers and he declared a stratagem that allowed them to shoot straight away and buff their hand flamers to 12 inch range. Um, I would counter declared at the same time um, forewarned on my Reapers but um, after a little bit of umming and ahhing over the rules because they both say immediately uh, so it's the same time controlling player picks and so the uh, Seraphim got to fire first and killed four out of the five Reapers and put a wound on the Exarch 
but the Exarch then rolled an 11 for his shots back and wiped out half the Seraphim. So uh, not bad. And then in the shooting phase, the Seraphim, along with the, um, the snipers over there, killed my spirit steer. So uh, nasty, nasty business. Um, the Dragoons moved right close to my Falcon, as did Celestine and her uh, Gemini. And he pushed up both his Ranger units to get closer to the objective. Um, shooting, rest of shooting was the um, uh, the robots, the uh, Castellans fired at my wave serpent and did 12 wounds. It's another wave serpent taking 12 wounds and being left alive on just one. So uh, not in a great state, but it's still alive. Um, and the Skitari rangers fired mostly at the jet bikes and took most of them down, or took all of them down, so I am now jet bikeless. And uh, then in the assault phase, Celestine and the, um, the Dragoons and the Gemini all charged the Falcon, and because they were able to surround it, when it blew up, there was nowhere for my um, Fire Dragons to disembark to, so uh, the Fire Dragons are gone too, so that's a big chunk out the centre of my army there. We then consolidated into my Wraith Guard. Thankfully, they're not going to... Um, uh, they're not going to sort of affect them too much because Wraith Guard can just move and fire out of combat naturally. So at least we're okay there. But yeah, I'm running out of Reapers. I'm running out of tanks. I've lost my Fire Dragons, lost all my jet bikes. Things are not going well. And points wise, it's another point for him there because uh, he's clearly got more units within 15 of the objective. Anyway, let's see how the Eldar can, Eldar can counter attack on turn three. So a better turn for the Eldar this turn, really sparked by Marthasia actually getting Doom off on the Dragoons. Um, obviously stepped my Wraith Guard out of combat and disembarked my second Avenger unit to threaten the uh, Skitari behind there. Wave Serpents just sort of moved around a little bit, there was one here a minute ago. Um, and yeah, um, as you can see, a very destructive turn for shooting. So, uh, oh and these Avengers pushed up into the woods there, sort of hiding out. So yeah, got Doom off on that, um, but failed fortune this turn. My Farseer really is just having a poor game, psychic-wise. But I've got Conceal Reveal on these guys, so you know, that's uh, something that'll be slightly harder to hit next turn when the robots come <laughs> shooting. Um, so yeah, I shot the um, Wraith Guard at the Dragoons, killed a couple of, killed two of them, and then fired at them with both Dire Avenger units, which left him on a single Dragoon with three wounds remaining. This Wave Serpent took two of them, um, the Warlock took one of them, uh, no didn't, tried to take one but saved it, so this Wave Serpent finished it off and he used the command point to guarantee that it explodes, so it's his last command point gone, but the explosion killed the Wave Serpent that was standing next to it, which then exploded, killing the Dark Reaper Exarch and one of my Wraith Guards, so uh, nasty little explosion there, really cleared out the centre of the board. Um, but uh, yeah, at least those Dragoons are gone. The only really big threats on the board now are Celestine and the robots, because I took out most of his um, Rangers that were pushed forward. So these Avengers killed one, leaving that squad in just three, and then killed four there and another three fled. So not a bad little turn, not bad, but I've still got those robots to deal with and the Seraphim, so it, it's certainly not over yet. Okay, bottom of the third turn, and that really is that. So um, the Seraphim came over here to uh, threaten the Farseer and the Dark Reapers. Um, Celestine and her guys came up, uh, Gemini came up towards the, um, the, the Wraith Guard, and everything else just kind of moved to get the best shots or stayed still in the case of the robots. Shooting was suitably devastating. The robots fired one dude at that Dire Revenger squad and they are gone. And the other two shot for the Wraith Guard, killed two of them. Um, what else? He, um, oh, he charged his Tech Priest into the, at the uh, Falcon, uh, Wave Serpent even. Sorry, it's getting late and I'm a bit cream crackered. But over here, the um, Seraphim, Seraphim, whatever they are, yeah, yeah. Uh, they killed the, I nearly said Seraphim there, I thought I was playing Age of Sigma for a second, <laughs> uh, they killed the Farseer in the shooting phase, um, and uh, yeah, then it was down to combat, so the 
Seraphim charged into Seraphim charged into the Dark Reapers, killed all by the Exarch. He did kill two back in combat, and he's holding. But yeah, that is uh, basically them out of the game now. And uh, the Tech Priest took the last wound off the Wave Serpent, but didn't even have the courtesy to blow up in his face. And uh, Celestine charged into the Wraith Guard, wiping them out. So end of the turn, I have three four of dire avengers in there one warlock and one exarch is stuck down in combat with a half decent assault unit so uh yeah he scores the point and there really is nothing i can do at this point so uh a very solid win thank you very much for a good game i'll see you guys in the post game okay then so a uh, fairly crushing victory for the mechanicum in the end there um well done javid you played really well and uh yeah you got me a uh, nice one uh, but although it was a crushing victory um it really could have gone very differently and there were two key points in that game that really tipped the outcome i think um, and one was a bit of bad luck and one was a big mistake on my part so uh, when i first watched back the video um or was sort of thinking about what went wrong there um, the thing that stuck out was that turn two shooting phase when I failed to get off doom and then my whole army just sort of completely failed to scratch the um, the dragoons it was it was quite something to behold actually my wraith guard getting three hits on them and then rolling all twos for the wound rolls um, so uh, yeah that was just sheer bad luck two turns in a row my farsi have failed to get doom off first turn it didn't make a big difference second turn it really you know it cost me a lot there and it meant that those dragoons were there to blow up the falcon on the uh, second third turn second turn yeah it was second turn um, which cost me my fire dragons as well um, in hindsight i should have got the fire dragons out earlier but i thought i was my hope was to transport them closer to the robots and be able to deal with them next turn i thought i would kill a lot more of the dragoons than that but uh, hey that's how it goes but the real mistake that cost me the game happened earlier it happened as early as the turn one assault phase so as you probably saw my plan was to engage the um what's it the uh, repulse not repulsor um the repressor with my shining spears and the idea was just to surround it to do what's called taking a hostage um, which would have allowed me to surround the vehicle not blow it up um, and shining spears are great for this because they've got brilliant movement they're uh, um, in decent enough numbers to pull it off and they can then just pull out a combat next turn so the idea was we didn't blow it up maybe kill it in his assault phase but it didn't really matter if i didn't because then i'd just be free to move off engage the robots take them down because they were one of the really big threats in the army but as it was they were uh, left pretty unharassed they had negative modifiers to hit and really buffed armor in the back there so my long range shooting wasn't really doing a lot needed to get into combat with them because even if i didn't kill them if i just tied them up for long enough that could have made a big difference but my mistake was not being uh, controlled and diligent enough in my movement and uh, getting some of the spears a little bit too close to either each other or the vehicle meaning they had to attack because you can't just choose not to attack you can choose where you move but if you're in position to attack you have to attack and uh yeah um it was a bit too much it blew up great blew the vehicle up and now i'm staring down an entire mechanicum army <laughs> so uh yeah uh, that didn't quite go as planned but you know these things happen and you learn from it it's only really recently i've been trying to pull off a tactic like that in the past i've been very just sort of willy-nilly with my assaults just throw in there whoever gets to attack gets to attack blow it up if we can now i've been trying to be a bit more controlled you may have seen it in the bat rep with my orcs against the uh, imperial guard where i was able to surround a lot of his tanks and then in the previous eldar game where i was able to surround the uh, redemptor dreadnought now i didn't quite go to plan there because kalgar interfered but you know it still achieved something against the dreadnought but um, in this case it would have been you know the perfect scenario you know the repulsor no i keep saying repulsor i mean repressor was uh, no way of getting it out and they didn't really have anything around to counter charge i mean we could have pulled the dragoons over i suppose if they were in range but uh, you know that would have been fine because then the dragoons weren't advancing on my tanks so uh, yeah um 
but fair play to David. You know, you uh, you played really well. Your list was was very solid. Having all those infantry, um, the what were they? The uh, Rangers to get in, sort of hiding in cover, out of the sort of the real threat, uh, just getting towards that objective and claiming all the points there. Really solid, and it was a lovely looking army and a fun game to have. So uh, yeah, um, definitely up for a rematch at some point. But uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. So. Uh, yeah, uh, not a win for the Eldar, but certainly a learning experience. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.